Hey guys, Gautam here and finally Xiaomi released the stable Android 9 Pi update. I have already waited so long for this update, so without wasting any more time, let's install the update. The update size is almost 1 GB. The only actual new feature listed in the changelog is the addition of FM radio. All of the changes are actually Android Pi features. So the phone is now updated and straight away I can see the Google search bar at the bottom of the screen looks bad to me. They should have provided little gap after the search bar. Quick settings menu looks different now with these green accents and there's no option to change the accent color. Again most of these are Android Pi related changes so I don't know if Xiaomi has added any extra features except for FM radio. Well I'm actually liking the animations now, they are pretty smooth and due to which the phone feels smoother. 4G is now working on both the sims which is great. You have the option to turn on or 4G for each sim. Under battery, adaptive battery feature is the new addition. If enabled, your phone will limit the use of battery for apps that you use occasionally. Now you can actually see the screen while using brightness slider from quick settings panel, which is actually helpful. You also get an option to select a theme. Always use dark theme as it helps in saving battery and it looks cool too. Under sound, headphones and audio effects menu is now moved at the very bottom. We now get gesture support. Enabling it will add a navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and physical keys will no longer work. I don't know what the developers were thinking. They have disabled hardware keys but they haven't disabled the key lights. It looks so bad. I personally won't be using these gestures until the hardware key lights are disabled. Unlocking with fingerprint now feels smoother. Not sure about the speed but it feels nice. Time and information test on the lock screen is now smaller in size. Volume slider is now vertical and more useful. By default the volume buttons will change the media volume. You can also quickly toggle between silent, vibrate and ring modes by tapping on the bell icon. I heard sound quality has also improved. I am not sure about it so you guys let me know whether it has improved or got worse. Coming to benchmarks, read write speeds are pretty much the same but I saw significant improvement in SQL queries. Almost double speed recorded for SQL queries. And to group score went down from 79668 to 78970. Geekbench score went down a little for both single and multi core. 3D mark test recorded a very small decrease in performance. And CPU throttling worsened by 3%. Previously, CPU was running at 94%, whereas after the update, CPU is running at 91% of its max performance. This is probably one of the reason of the decrease in performance recorded by other apps. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what do you guys think about this update in the comment section below. Please do like, share and subscribe. Complete guide on installing Pixel 3 camera app will be coming tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribed and notifications are turned on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.